Hi, I'm uh, Matthew Stott. I'm from uh, Dunkley Point in New South Wales. Um, I'm a local uh, irrigation farmer. Farm cotton, almonds, grapes, popcorn. Uh, we've just recently purchased a uh, new earth mover from Colin Miller. Colin Miller are a local uh, engineering company in uh, Griffith and they've just moved into building earth movers um, and we're very happy to have uh, been able to purchase one of the first ones. Purchased a 16 foot machine, we, we had a 14 foot before this, we went to a 16 because we wanted a bigger bucket. One of the reasons that we purchased this machine uh, and, we, and we went this way was is just the construction of the machine, it's a lot bigger um, in the beams, everything's been sized up so that it can handle the bigger horsepower tractors. You're talking now of five and 600 horsepower tractors on the laser buckets. We wanted something that's gonna uh, stay together and be strong enough to handle the horsepower. And we're very happy, you can see the pull is a lot bigger. Um, we've gone to an auto lube grease kit on the, on the whole machine, so it greases the whole bucket. And, uh, and then also doing the back of the tractor, roughly 48 grease points that it's greasing uh, at the moment. We've plugged our machine in, it has five remotes uh, that's running the, well, the different function, the rippers, the bowl, the apron. We also have a greasing, this is where the grease goes to run through to the tractor as well. Um, we've set it up this way because it suits us with our five remotes on our tractor. Uh, it can be set up other ways but that's just specifically what we've liked. Uh, you can see here they have the uh, oh and standard ladder. So as you can see, very easy to access. You can come right up to the top of the machine. You can do any maintenance you need to do up here. It also gives you a good look at the bucket. It's quite a different view when you can see it from right up here. Um, the rams, two inch shaft in the uh, bearings here are, are bigger. Um, we've got the auto grease kit on that. Auto grease kit on the pin down here. This is a bigger shaft now as well. Um, all the hydraulic hoses and that are all cut and measured so that they're yeah, all in the right spot. They're not, not where they're not supposed to be. They've made this higher in here so that you uh, don't get dirt settling on the machine and then you can't wash it out. It's easy to clean. Um, yeah, just the, just the little things. Um, this apron here can open right up to the top. It opens right up so you can see the bottom of your cutting edge. It's further up, so then that works well. The bowl tilts over another five degrees, so if it's got wetter dirt, the dirt will fall out of the bucket. Uh, these pins are all sized up to the next size. Uh, this one is as well, Every, everything's, and everything's auto lit, grease. So every time the apron opens, it gets a shot of grease. Everything across the whole tractor in the bucket. All the hydraulic hoses and that all run uh, through nicely. They're all nice and neat. These are the grease tubes here. You can see they're all running nice and neat. Everything's bolt on, it's easier. Lugs, two lugs on the machine, not on the, on the ramp, so it's easier, it's, it's stronger. It actually makes it so it doesn't want to dislodge the pin. You know, everything's just, it's got two points that it crabs on instead of one. The uh, axles and all this bigger rams and bigger shafts here, we've talked about the hydraulic hoses, but you can see here they've incorporated them into the frame, so they've made the hoses hide in underneath here so you don't have them hanging out the side easier to clean. They've put a lot of thought into it. The whole rocker beam system is been sized up as well. As you can see, a lot more strength, a lot more size in the beams here. The pin running through here is uh, bigger. Once again, it's all on the auto greaser, so we're hoping to get longer life out of the pins because it's been greased all the time. The tyres are bigger. The hubs um, have got bigger bearings, bigger shafts inside them. So the reason they've gone to the bigger tyres is they just want a bit more rubber on the ground with the bigger diameter. Um, they've left a lot more clearance in between uh, rocker beam and the tyre so that we don't get chewing of the tyres out on the inside. So they've thought about that and tried to make it easier to get the tyres out, especially these ones that are in here when you've got a flat tyre. And this ram is also higher up so you can actually access these tyres because it's not in under here, it's very hard to get out. These, this steel here is bigger, it's wider, it's deeper, that's to carry the excess weight. You're looking at a machine that will, you know, a, a normal machine would carry 15 yards of dirt, this is going to carry 19. So it's a lot, you know, there's a lot more dirt in the bucket itself. So it has to be stronger, otherwise it's just going to fall to bits. Uh, this is the auto levelling ram uh, for the whole bucket, so it tilts it from side to side. Um, you can see here that you know, the strength they've put into this here. Uh, this is a solid piece of steel. Um, you can see that once again the, the size of the rocker beam, the gap for the tyres. The, the machine got a bit more of an angle in here to get the dirt on the inside so that it can actually force the dirt in. Um, so you can get more dirt in the bucket quicker and you'll see on the back it doesn't actually have the strengthening beam across the back anymore so that's now all open so you can push more dirt in and get it in there higher, uh, as, as high as possibly uh, can be achieved. These are the, the rippers and so they've got what they call the chocolates which is hard facing on the front the tips are hard faced um, so that you don't get uh, tie and wear through here. Uh, there's 14 rippers on this machine, they're all operated off one switch so when you, know, you only engage them when you want to. 
Colin Miller are a great company to work with. We've bought machines off them before. The quality of the machines uh, that come out of the shop is uh, phenomenal. This is no exception. The machine is, uh, is very, very professionally done. Uh, the quality of the workmanship is second to none. Uh, it meets all the uh, oh &S standards in uh, new technology today. Colin Miller were fantastic to work with. Uh, they pr keep producing fantastic products. I believe this is the best product that they've made uh, and we're certainly very happy to have one of the first ones that have been built.